Um, I really liked the title of um, this opportunity, which was highlighting people's journeys. And I think that um, I know some people may have a direct journey in their professional and personal life where they know what they want to do when they're eight years old, which is that's so fantastic. And, um, and some of us maybe wander a little bit. And I just kind of wanted to maybe uh, reiterate that um, like not all who wander are lost. I think that was a total key. I don't know. Um, but that um, there are, um, in your journey to wherever you're going to go, or whatever you want to do, um, definitely listen to the inner voice inside of you telling you what you liked, um, what you didn't like, and do a lot of self-reflection. And I guess I'll just kind of mention maybe how that's helped me <laughs> a little bit, because um, I majored in religion, which is so helpful in the workplace. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it doesn't matter if you know a lot about Hinduism in the end uh, for a job. So um, I love what I studied. I would go back and do the same thing. I never thought I would be in library school or a school librarian. Um, when I thought I wanted to teach, um, I was a teacher cadet and decided in high school, I was like, no, 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 this is not for me. Um, but it was always something that I liked aspects of teaching. And so um, after college, you know, rest, what were we calling that, restaurant industry? Food service. Food service <laughs> um, was a part of my journey. Um, there's no shame in that game. I mean, I, I, in fact, I think everybody needs to work that because that really does prepare you for the public um, service industry. So um, please take that as, a, as something that you can use as a strength later on if you've ever done that or need to do that. And, um, and did a lot of other things that I could say I crossed off my list of what I didn't want to do, but again, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I did take a personality test that kind of had librarianship on there and um, shadowed a media specialist and um, said to myself that this is something I can see myself doing and I liked working with um, young people and I always wanted to work with middle school students. I kind of liked um, the transformative years that they had at that age and uh, when I was in middle school I think I went to my school library twice and I think they were to take pictures. <laughs> so, um, I hated middle school. I don't know many people who like middle school. Um, it's such an awkward time and uh, you just think the world is ending and you know this is all just so much torment and I and, and everybody has that it's so funny uh, and and so I my kind of self voice or whatever that I want to do is I wanted to help those kids going through that I wish someone would have reached out to me at that age and I really wish I would have and open to the library. Um, and of course that's, I'm not blaming it on, <laughs> I can easily walk to the library as a middle schooler, but I didn't. So um, I kind of felt like it's, um, I always felt like there's some sort of mission for me to reach out to those who maybe need a, some help or you know need something to feel inclusive or just normal or okay. And um, so I always thought that middle school is where I wanted to be and um, I was fortunate enough to, um, uh, teach in China, which reiterated that I like to teach, but I wasn't, I didn't want to be a typical classroom teacher. Um, so again, just keep reflecting if, if you're, if you're kind of not sure what you're doing, I know a lot of people do know that may not be anybody in this room, um, but, uh, and decided that library school was in my future and was fortunate to get accepted here and um, was very fortunate to have a number of opportunities to work for different um, people here at SLIS and a lot of great mentors, a lot of support. Um, it's nice to come back here because I do feel like it's a, it's a family gathering of sorts and um, that goes outside of this um, building as well because you'll find that you just call on your fellow library students or librarians and they will come and help you. Um, I, Thomas here in the audience <laughs> uh, came and helped me at my other school and uh, we had to put all the nonfiction books in order and there was a lot of other gracious people that took time out of their day to help a, a librarian in need. So um, definitely call on one another. Um, you know, you can mentor each other and support each other and that doesn't um, go, it doesn't end after the library school experience, it goes on after. Um, so uh, anyway, so um, I, I would uh, reiterate, I know a lot of the speakers have said, you know, take every opportunity, work hard. Um, I, I do feel like for me to be able to open Meadow Glen was um, 
luck and <laughs> hard work and um, just taking advantage of the opportunity that I had at another school and really showing what I could do. So really, um, if you're not happy in your job, there's always a positive because you can show you can show yourself, you can show your true talent and what you want to do. And um, so definitely take advantage, even if it's where you're not, if you don't want to be there forever. Um, so uh, I guess I just wanted to to say I don't think I'm a typical librarian in the sense that I, I still feel like I'm trying to figure this out. So I feel like I'm still on my journey. Uh, so, so I just, you know, if that touches anybody, that's awesome. Um, but um, but again, I'm still learning from my colleagues and mentors in other states and things like that that I still call on. Um, so, but definitely um, listen to what your passions are and what you like and what you don't like and. Um, Later on, you might have an opportunity to really use that. So, um, 